Welcome everyone to University Stadium, home to the Lobos of the University of New Mexico, and the fans here are fired up for this clash. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the Air Force Falcon taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off a of bye, the New Mexico Lobos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Lobos will put total leather and we'll get started. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. So the Air Force Falcons offense is on the field for the first time today. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him, a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. On the option. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. They'll run the option. And the Falcons will move the sticks. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Looking for a crease. It's Latham. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The option look. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Looking for a man. It's Boucher. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? And the quarterback just couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger and get rid of the ball, and they knock it free. So let's give the secondary tons of credit, right, Reese? They were doing an outstanding job in the back end in coverage, not allowing any receivers open, and that's why the QB had to keep holding it and keep holding it. That allowed the pass rush to get to him, and that created the turnover. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. He's got it on the move. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Working that left side now. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Third down play from the gun. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Lobos! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Leaves it with the running back. At the 35, he's loose. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. They used the chunk play to cross midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. They'll go to the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Running back goes in motion. 
And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Dropping back, it's Busha. Looking for the end zone. He caught it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. A little pre-snap eye candy. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Falcons. First and goal. You know what's coming. They know what's coming. Can you stop it? And you can't. Pound the football straight ahead. Get in for six. Nice job by the big fella. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Rutgers is currently ahead in this one. The folks in Piscataway have been in a frenzy all week, but they're in the birthplace of college football. This one is close. They're up by seven over Wisconsin. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Dialing up a second down pass play. Complete downfield. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. Looking for space, it's Henry. Not much working there, it'll be second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. The pull and throw off the RPO. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. And the Lobos have their offense in high gear. He's going to pass. A little screen to the running back. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. He'll try to pop the draw. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Lobos come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Tune in to the Ocho, eighth play of the drive coming up. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, New Mexico! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They took it 71 yards down the field, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. He'll ride his man on the option. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Here comes the option. Bulls his way forward. Strong safeties are guys you can spin down and a lot of times spend a lot of time in that box, which means he's going to be in the run fit. He's going to be making tackles consistently. And he comes up, tell you what, they talk about big on big. A big fullback versus a big strong safety. That's a big collision.
That's the end of the period, and New Mexico has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. The give to the tailback. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. This is a designed run. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Falcons line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He gets it out to the 17, the cover unit right there to make the stop. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react. Get punched in the mouth on the last run. For this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. It's a runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. On the ground, it's Henry. At the 45 on his way. All kinds of running room. They're ripping off chunks of yard to get it to the 33. How nice is it in an offense when you can generate explosive plays by running the football? You got to force feed this guy, man. He is an absolute game changer. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. They get him stopped after a pickup of five to the 28. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give on the inside. Shakes off the defender. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. Back to throw, it's Dampier. Got his man downfield. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense, first and goal from the seven. Was to pass. Grabbed behind the line, it's Henry. That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Second and goal for this offense. And he's gonna take it into the end zone. Running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them on top, 21 to seven. So a drive there of 84 yards. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Goes to the option. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Trying play action. Still looking on the move. Trying to make magic with his feet. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the big fullback. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. 
Brings up second down. On the option. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Here on third down for this offense. Now on the option. And he keeps it himself. A good decision there, and it gives this offense a first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? On the option. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll run the option. Ball is loose. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. On third and short, the power run here. The Falcons get it past the sticks. Now on first and ten from the 29. cut there fighting off the defender he will step out of bounds but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense we've made our way to the two minute warning and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break he's got his man they get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score To the air, it's Boucher. They're trying to get to him. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you got to make sure you're throwing that ball out of the end zone and helping your offense out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Quarterback strolling away from heat. This time, they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. And it's a fake. It's a fake. Shuffle it to the tight end. You want to be bold and daring, but sometimes you got to know when to just take the three. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he's able to get some positive yardage before he's brought down, and that'll bring us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, looks like you've got a great atmosphere today in Albuquerque. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at University Stadium. And the Falcons will line up to kick off and start the second half. Looking for blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Let's see what the Lobos offense has dialed up this time. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive player right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Looking downfield, it's Dampier. Throws to the wideout. Fires it incomplete. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. 
And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. And the Lobos send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Makes the catch and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. On the option. Thrust that arm out. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. And he has run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Falcons will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's Pope. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. We will get another look at this New Mexico offense. He's looking to throw it. Takes the easy one to the back. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. They go to the ground. And he'll be brought down. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, man, I got fourth down in my pocket. The Lobos getting set on first and ten. Leaves it with the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Lobos are on the move. Trying to surprise him with the pass. He looks that one in nicely. On the move at the 30. Oh, look out! He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. The Lobos trying to cash it in on first and goal. Looking to pass. It's Dampier. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, New Mexico. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. And how about this play by the offense? First and goal for the one yard line. Everything says it's going to be a run. It's going to be a run. Nice job by the offense. A little sleight of hand. Throwing the football. Getting the touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Alabama is currently ahead early in this one, but they haven't been able to separate themselves yet inside Bryant Denny. They are up by seven over South Carolina. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Moving away from pressure. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. 
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. Across the 25, he's got room. They finally make the stop, and he shows why he is dangerous on the run, too, and he's got a first down. They'll run the option. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Wants to throw. It's Busha. Makes the grab on the left. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Falcons will punt it away on fourth down. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. They'll get this drive started from the 29. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Dances away to buy time. He's going to take off. Turns it on at midfield. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. Big pickup before he goes out of bounds, but there is a flag. We'll have to see if it stands. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll run it. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Line getting set on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Henry. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. Now facing a third and long. From the gun. Wants to pass. Buys a little extra time. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. That's the end of the period. Mexico has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Bought a little time, lets it go. And the throw out to the sideline, good for just a few yards. Now on second down. To the air, it's Busha. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. The D thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. They're setting up the screen. Still on his feet at the 45. 
They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Trying to get to it. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Man, this guy is just starting to take this game over. Sack on first down, sack on second down. And now on third down, this offense, they better identify where this guy's lining up. And they better get him double teamed because they can't block him right now. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He's going to run it. At the 35, he's open. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. The Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The option look. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. They'll come to the line needing four yards for a first down. They're already two for two on this drive. The back goes in motion. There to make the stop, but they use the back in the passing game and pick up the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Running back searching for a hole. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Busha. Got out of trouble and throws. He makes the grab. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Wants to throw on third down. Fires into the end zone! And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fullback's got it. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. Power football with the run. Discards a man. Not much room to run. Give him one to the seven. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Runs into a wall. They'll give him one out to the eight. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They'll run it from the gun. Went to the running game on third down and picked up five, but still a couple of yards short. It's fourth and two. And the Lobos will punt this one away. And the returner will be brought down. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Looking to throw on second down. Dances away from the heat. He's going to take off. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Falcons racing to the line in the hurry up. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're through. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Looking downfield, it's Busha. 
fires to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. He'll pull it down and run. You know, you hear the term nickel so much. Most people stay a nickel most of the time because of all the speed in college football and the running quarterback. And you see why it pays dividends. More speed on the field when the QB does take off to go get him on the ground and force a fourth down. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is. But the And the defense, they've got him at the 27. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. This defense has taken the game over. They're winning the game in large part because of how dominant they've been up front and how good their pass rush has been. On second down, looking to throw. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Plenty of time as he fires it to the right. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. The completion well past the sticks. Touchdown, Air Force! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Nice job by the offensive field put points on the board but you're still down a couple possessions you still need some good things to happen you need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up we need an onside we need to score some points we need a lot of things to go right to win this football game ready to try the point the after And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. UCLA is currently a big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Southern California for some time. They're up by 38 over Minnesota. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Bully ball on third and short. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And the try is no good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14. New Mexico, 28, Air Force, 14. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Pulls it in. It's Carson. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Just gets rid of it before the heat. Forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face fourth. 
He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. And they'll take a knee, the universal symbol. We have this thing in hand. Oh, that was a pretty rough showing there by this team. Just couldn't find a way to get things going and come up with the win. Just got outplayed, Reese. There were moments in this game. There were plays to be had and plays to be made. At the end of the day, they just did not execute well enough in any of the three phases on any side of the football. So, David, moving forward, a lot to take away from this game as they try to win. A lot to take away and a lot to learn from. I mean, losses definitely hurt. They sting, but a lot of times most teams refocus and they get a sense of urgency now that they got a loss in that column so watch the tape watch what you need to improve on and go attack it in practice that's going to do it for us for jesse palmer david pollock our entire broadcast team i'm reese davis this has been another presentation of ea sports college football